Good morning, Floss Tube. My name is Christy, and this is my channel, Java Girl Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number 33. So it has been a while. It's been over a month since I've been here. Um, I'm glad to be back. Um, so I have a lot to share with you guys today because it has been a while. Um, so I hope you sit back, have some coffee, stitch, and you stick with me and watch and um, like all the stuff I have to share with you today. So since it's been so long, I'm going to just give a quick update of kind of what's been going on with us. Um, I had my birthday, which was actually a really, really good birthday for the first time in a lot of years. Um, I got to go shopping in the morning. I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, because Alyssa and I are trying to amp up our uh, gingerbread display, which I had one last year and it was pretty much um, just ready done. So of course this year I have stitch pieces. So her and I, you know, keep enabling each other that we need to buy more stuff. So I did that on in the morning. I stitched most of the day. And then my sweet husband, he made me... Um, he made me a cake. I even asked him, like, do you want me to help you make the cake? He's like, I can make a cake. And this is a man that can't even make chocolate chip cookies, but he did a great job. He made me a cake. He made me crab legs and steak, which was one of my favorites. And I had a really, really good day. So that was awesome. And thank you everybody who wished me happy birthday. Um, I really appreciated it. It made my day even better. Okay, and then um, one thing I did want for my birthday is I wanted to get a tattoo. And I wanted one um, for this particular one for quite a while. I do have two others. I have, and when I get tattoos, they have meaning to me. So like I have my husband's name on my wrist, on my shoulder I have a butterfly with my boy's name in it. So the one that I wanted this time um, was the word faith. And so let's see if you can, guys can see, that's what I got done. And yes, it hurt, but I absolutely love it. And this one I wanted, again, I've wanted it for a while and it has a special meaning to me um, because I want to always remember that even when the world is crazy, when things are hard in life, that no matter what, to always have faith in God, just always. And he's in control and he will make sure everything is okay. So very, very meaningful to me. And I was really glad that I was able to get it done. Um, and my husband, he did get one too. He got the American flag um, on his um, on his shoulder here, down his arm, and his looks really amazing too. So um, that was my birthday and my birthday weekend. So a lot of fun, great birthday this year. Okay, what else? Um, I've been stitching is like crazy. <laughs> um, I didn't feel so good right after the last video. So I know a lot of people have mentioned I, I like when you do videos every two weeks. I can't always do that, you guys, just because my hormones do not like me and I am sick a lot and I'm tired. And so sometimes I have my videos will be sporadic, but I will always keep doing them. So just hang in there with me. When I can do them, I, can, I will be here. But I have felt better, so I have been stitching um, tons of Christmas, tons of gingerbread. I posted a picture on Instagram um, of my explosion of gingerbread stuff that I'm, uh, working on. Um, I want to decorate my house in like two weeks and I still have like a bazillion more projects I want to stitch. So there's certain ones I'm going to try to get done and then get my house decorated. And then the rest of them, I'll just keep stitching and I'll put them up, you know, after it's all decorated. Um, and my, my dad, I took down all the Halloween decorations and I don't put anything else up. I just leave the rest of the stuff, the home stuff in boxes. So my dad's walking through the house and he's like, the house looks really bare. It doesn't even look the same anymore. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh, my poor dad, he has no idea. Like, and just, just give it a couple weeks, dad. And the house is going to be a full on Christmas store. You ain't even gonna be able to walk anywhere because there's so many Christmas trees everywhere. So I thought it was, he's, he's just funny. He's such cute. He's so cute and so funny. Um, and last thing, the boys, they're doing pretty good. Um, they are not doing so great in school. The online school is really hard for them. They did okay the first quarter, the, this quarter. I went on and I kind of checked their grades and Chase hadn't done anything for the whole quarter yet. So 
I had to crack the whip a little bit, be the mean mom, um, which is not really being the mean mom, it's just being a responsible mom. And I had to take away their computers and their phones at night. And so Chase has been spending the last um, four days catching up on all his homework. And I'm like, you're not gonna do the skin, are you? Nope. <laughs> so lesson learned there. I know it's hard for them, but I'm really encouraging them. Like you still have to do school. You have to do good. You, and Chase is an AB student, so I'm like, there's no excuse. You, I know it stinks, but you got to do it. So, otherwise, they have been doing good. Um, they're still crazy. Last night, Chase decided that he was going to, um, he told John that if he, uh, he would give him $50 if he jumped in the freezing cold pool. I'm like, there's no way John's going to do that. He's, he, it's not going to happen. He did it. So in goes John into the freezing cold pool and Chase is videotaping and they're just laughing hysterically. And then John, I mean, jumped out of that pool as quick as he could, runs in the house with his wet feet, slips, runs into um, and smacks into the cabinet. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I, But I'm laughing because I mean, they're boys and at least they're having a good time. And that's all that matters and it makes me happy. Okay, um, a little bit of just um, housekeeping, I guess you would call it. Um, thank you everyone that stitched my little witches. I've seen, um, a lot of people have sent me pictures. I've seen them on um, social media. You guys did a great job. Some people changed some colors, did them on different fabric and they all look amazing. I love seeing them. So thank you for sharing them with me and for stitching them. Um, and then if you, some of you might've gotten an actual PDF and that is from, I wanna give a huge thank, thank you to Cindy. She was so kind and messaged me and just said, send me the photos and I'll make them into a PDF. And she did like nothing. And she is gonna show me how to make uh, PDFs in the future. So thank you so much, Cindy. I really, really appreciate it. It, it can't be that hard. I think it's just honestly just me. <laughs> okay, so my last video, I did get a lot of questions. Most questions I try to answer just in the, um, under your comment because I don't want to have like a whole long question section on the video. I know a lot of people don't like that, but there are a couple that I do get asked quite a bit. So I'm just gonna go over them really quick and then I'm gonna move on to all the stuff I wanna show you. So someone, uh, a lot of asked, how do I store my finishes? So every um, holiday, I have holiday bins and I just store them in there. I usually try to stick all the cross stitch stuff on top and I kind of sporadically stick them so the bows don't get too squished. But if they do, you can fluff them back out again. And I put them in like a bag, like a sack to um, keep them safe. And then how a lot of how do I stitch on 25 count Lugana? I stitch two over two always. And it does make the piece really big, but I absolutely love um, Lugana, 25 count Lugana. And do I stitch on one piece of big fabric, which you will see a lot of times. If it's a new piece of fabric, yes, I will. I will just stitch it and then I will cut that piece off and then I'll keep continuing to use that piece. If it's something small and I have a little scrap piece, then I will stitch on the small scrap piece. And then the last question, will my dad make an appearance? Yes, I will make sure that he comes on here and says hi to everybody. Um, I'm sure he'll be a little nervous, but, um, He's, he's, a, he's the greatest dad ever. So yes, I will definitely have him come on here one time and say hi. Okay, that's it for life updates and housekeeping and all of that good stuff. So let's get right into my FFOs. I have a lot for you. I will try to go slow. Um, so let's get started. So my first one is um, Mary One and it was by Plum Street Samplers. And this is my finish on this one. This is stitched on 25 count Vintage Country Mocha Lugana. I did change the colors, which I did put in my last video. Um, so I had this finished on like um, the door that was from Walmart that I showed you guys I had gotten and it just didn't look good. I just didn't like it. So I pulled it apart. I found this tray and I believe I got this tray. I wanna say I got it at Hobby Lobby. So again, I have some, is there a rick rack? Yep, there's some rick rack, two different colors of fabric on sticky board. And then on the top, I have some greenery and then three different bows. And then the little reindeer um, is like at Walmart in, um, it's kind of in the ornament section where all the little pieces that you can use for finishing, that's where I got that and put that on the top. And now I'm super happy with it. And I didn't have anything else and I'm just scrounging through all of my stuff and I found this and I'm like, this tray might actually work. And it did. 
So I'm super happy with that one. And that one goes along with, um, I use the same colors as, um, if you guys remember last year, I did the Ho 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 by Brenda Gervais. I'm trying to keep the same kind of color scheme with those, with the darker colors. So that matches. And then my next one, this one matches the Mary one. And this is Mary Holly Berries by Brenda Gervais. Okay. And this is the finish on this one. And this is a flower sifter that I also got at Hobby Lobby. And what I did is I made this into a circle finish and it also stitched on 25 Count Lugana um, Vintage Country Mocha. So it is a little bit bigger than what it normally calls for. But I added some rickrack and um, a ruffle and it is magnetized to this. And then what I did in the top, I just stuck inside the um, flower cheese grater. Did I say flower sister? It's a cheese grater. I just stuck some um, picks in there and then I stuck some of this raffia and I just kind of made it all whatever until I liked it. And then I added two bows and then the Merry Christmas little circle um, also comes in the section where you're going to find all that stuff for finishes um, in Walmart. And I love the finish on this. Super, super happy with it. And this one is Mary Hollyberry's Brenda Gervais. And again, same colors. That is um, Cherry Cobbler. I don't remember the greens, but if you need to, if you want to know, just message me and I will give you the colors. I wrote them down. Because the Ho 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 last year, I did not write down the colors. I knew I used Cherry Cobbler, but I didn't remember the rest of them. So this year I wrote down every color of everything I stitched this year. So I would remember. Okay, let's do... Um, we'll do this one next. So this one is an ornament and this is the most wonderful time of the year. And it's out of, um, one of the Lizzie Kate, um, tidy, tiny tidings, I believe. And I changed my colors to, um, like Priscilla's. I wanted it to match my, um, my black and red tree. So this is just, this is stitched on Monaco. And we have a little bit of rickrack, some plaid fabric a bow. I'm really liking making the bows with rickrack. I just think it adds a little something different to it. And then the little tag also from Walmart. And then a little rickrack to hang it up. So I do have like a couple ornaments for my black and white tree this year. I didn't make a lot, but because I was so busy with gingerbread, which you, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> okay, my next ornament is called Ho Ho Ho. I did this last year. I didn't know how to finish it, so I just left it. And it's by Trellis and Time. And here's my finish on this one. And it's super cute, super easy to stitch. I did change the colors. I believe these were, I want to say they were pink and blue and I made them so they would match the tree. And just some sticky board with um, some plaid fabric. And then I have some greenery and some bows and a couple little picks. And I can't wait to put it on my tree. And there is a little bit of rickrack on the top, but my big bow's covered up. But I really like this one too. Really super easy one and really cute. And no, my backs are not finished nicely, you guys. I know one of these days, maybe I'll get into that, but it's like the back, no one sees it. I don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. The next one we'll do is Mary, Mr. Claus. And this is the one by Priscilla love this one it's so cute so it is on a um cutting board and it's this it's the one that i got at walmart i got a bunch of those black ones um for halloween and it went perfectly with this one so again i have a little bit of rickrack i have plaid fabric i got me a big bow some picks and the mary tags when i saw those before i even saw priscilla um do hers i was like oh she's She's brilliant because that they go perfectly. I knew I need, was going to use them for something, and I it definitely is perfect for this. And then I have just a little covered button in the middle, and I love that one. I'm going to start throwing stuff over here because I am going to run out of space. Okay, not gingerbread yet. One more, and then we'll show you gingerbread. This one I finished last year. Did not have any idea how to finish this. Um, and this is We Santa. I'm not sure what year. I want to say 2018, but I'm not positive. So I finally figured out a finish for this one. So this little, um, it's just like a shelfy 
stamp thing. And I did get this at Hobby Lobby and it did have something, some words in there. I actually think it was for the bathroom. It was like a bathroom, please, like, please wash your hands or something like that. And I thought, well, it's black. It will probably work. So what I did is I took the piece and this is also on, this is on Monaco. And I mounted it on sticky board, added the rickrack, added the red gingham fabric. And then I took the black gingham fabric and filled in the rest of the, to cover up what was inside. And then I added a bow, again, some rickrack another one of the cute little tags from Walmart. And then I was like, I wasn't sure. I'm like, I really want kind of something on the side. So I went to um, Walmart and they had the snowman. And I was like, you know what? That would be perfect if I could fit him on here somehow. So I just moved the piece over a little bit so it's not centered, but then the snowman can go on there, but and you can still see the entire piece. So I was super happy with that one that one okay put that there all right I got some gingerbread to show you guys <clears throat> okay so the first one is from Priscilla I don't remember the names of all these but I know you guys know them so here is the first one and this is on the pioneer woman in the summertime if you remember they had those um these little what is this little stand easily thing and I still had one. So I mounted this on sticky board and then um, add a little rickrack on top, put a little, um, put a piece of check fabric and I stuck that to the back of the um, piece here. And then on the bottom I have some picks and some ribbon and then the baker's twine. And then what I did is I took another little spool and I'm like, I know I can make a little gingerbread out of that. So um, all I did is I wrapped the brown um, thread around and then I have my enamel dots. I put those on the black ones for the eyes, the pink for the cheeks, and then uh, the little rickrack I just glued on. And the little smile, I cut a little piece of vinyl out, the tiniest piece of vinyl ever, on my um, silhouette and I put it on there. Voila, we have a little gingerbread guy. So I love how this one turned out. There's the first gingerbread for you guys. Let's see, moving. Um, the second one I did is also by Priscilla. I love that she came out with all these gingerbread this year. So cute. So this star I actually got at, um, at Walmart and it did not have the beads on it. You can see the back. It was just a stick. So what I did is I pulled this apart. I took um, some beads and I spray painted them so it would look like a candy cane beads. I thought it gave it a little bit, it looked a little bit better than just having the wooden stick there. So what I did is I mounted it on sticky board and then we have the red fabric again, some rickrack, and then on the bottom I just put bows, a little bit of greenery, um, baker's twine, and the cute little um, button, the gingerbread button, and that came from Hobby Lobby. So that's a way you can, even though you buy some of these things, you can add different things to them to, you know, make them spruce them up a little bit and make them a little bit better. Beads, you can get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, you might be able to get them at Michael's. I can't remember. I know I always get mine at Hobby Lobby. Spray paint them, stick them on a skewer and add it and it makes it look a little bit different. Adds a little bit more to it. So that's my second one. Okay. <coughs> My next one is also by Priscilla and it's Mrs. Uh, I believe it's Mrs. Claus's cookies is what it is. And this is my finish on this one. And this little easel is at Hobby Lobby. Um, in the in the middle section that I, I have covered up is like chalkboard and it had, I think it says Merry Christmas on it. So what I did is I just um, took the piece again, rickrack as always, sticky board to cover the, all the black. Um, and then what I did is I glued, I took another one of my rolling pins. You can also get them at Hobby Lobby and I spray painted it. And then I cut out the word gingerbread on my silhouette. And I do get a lot of questions. How do you use the silhouette? I'm not going to do a video on how to use them, but there are tons of videos. If you search up how to use a silhouette or if you have a Cricut and it will, um, explain how to, to use it. So 
all I'm doing is cutting out the lettering and basically putting it on top of the rolling pin. <laughs> okay, and then right there, I just have a little tiny bow with a little tiny um, gingerbread button. And then on top, I just have some, some greenery and some bows and a little cute little button. Because I wanted the gingerbread down here instead of up there. I just thought the, um, the rolling pin just needed a little something extra. So that one um, is my next gingerbread one. And that one was fun to do. One more gingerbread one, you guys. That's finished. Okay. And this is my last one. And this is also by Priscilla. And this was her cup series one. So this little house... I won't, I'm okay. It did come from Hobby Lobby and what it did is it had a calendar on it, like a white calendar. And on the side, it had a little string with a circle that you could stick over the dates and the, actually the white part of the calendar just fell off. So I was like, well, that's fine. Cause I didn't need it anyway. So what I did is I mounted this on sticky board. Um, and this is stitch anything black I stitch will be on 14 count data, um, chalkboard data. And then I made the red, um, piece, of sticky board enough to cover where the little bit of where you could still see the glue um, from the white and then on top I added two little candy canes and then some greenery another little gingerbread button rickrack bow and baker's twine and I love how this turned out so cute okay that is all my FFOs you guys and I do have I did make a couple little DIY things so to go with my gingerbread display, this bucket came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then all I did was I just stuck some picks in it. Um, and the little gingerbread, they're actually ornaments that you can get at Michael's. They're like little plushies. And I just stuck them in there and I thought, I'll just add that to my decor. So, I mean, you can get a bucket and just stick greenery. And if you, you can put gingerbread, you could put farmhouse, um, gnomes, whatever you want. Just something simple to add a little something else to your decor. So I love how that turned out. Okay, and then because I do do farmhouse too in my living room, I have too many things. I have gnomes, I have farmhouse, and now I have gingerbread, more gingerbread going on. So I have a lot, my house is just, it looks it's gonna look like a Christmas store, but it's my favorite holiday. So I also made this. So what I did is I already had this wood sign. It had something else in it. I wasn't gonna use it anymore. So I painted it white. I glued the little barn in, which is just an ornament you can get from Hobby Lobby. The bottle note, is that what they're bottom bottle nose trees? That's probably not what they are, but they're little trees. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And then what I did is I um, cut out Farmhouse Christmas with vinyl, just stuck it on there, did some snowflakes, and then put a little bow on top. So another easy, you could do this with anything. You could put a gingerbread man and put a saying in there and just something easy you can make um, to add a little bit more decor to your house. So those are my, that was my DIY move this so it's not my camera okay that is all my ffos i know that was a lot i think you guys are sticking with me i still have lots to show you okay i did have two other finishes i finished um mrs claus because she's got to go with mr claus finished her so cute and i will finish her pretty much the same um as mr claus so they match and then my other gingerbread one I did was North Pole Cookie Company. And this is by Cherry, I always say it wrong, Cherry Hill Stitchery. And as soon as Alyssa and I saw this, we are, we were on it. And if you don't know Alyssa, you do know her. She's Starry Night Studios. She does amazing finishes. And she is my farmhouse um, enabler. We just keep enabling each other. Now we're gingerbread enablers. And we were basically talking about how we need a van. Or she said we need a bus. Oh, no, she said we need a, I think she said we need a van or a bus to like bring all of our stuff home that we keep bringing home from Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, girl, we need like a semi. It's that bad. So so that's everything I've gotten finished. Before I get into whips, I, um, the enabling part, the um, some finishing finds for you guys. Um, this cute little tree I just found at um, Walmart. So you could you could sand it off. Sand off the words and put a little finish on here. Spray paint it over again. But I thought that would be perfect for you guys. This one's from Walmart. Um, this is also from Walmart. 
it's just a simple little star. Of course, I would take all this off and put a different bow, but you could put a cute little finish in that. I thought you guys might like that. Um, another tree I got from Hobby Lobby and it's checkered. So, I mean, you could just use this in your display, but I thought a finish would be really cute on here too. So that is Hobby Lobby. Let's see. Also from Hobby Lobby, this is amazing. It's um, a cutting board and it's a check one. I love it. It's huge. So I don't have any ideas for it yet, but I knew I needed it because I will definitely use it at some point in time. So Hobby Lobby. This one is just a little clip uh, photo frame, but of course I like anything that looks like farmhousey and you, I would take this out and I would put a finish in here. And this is from Target, $3, you guys. Get to the Target dollar spot. It has not been very kind to me this year. I have not found a whole lot there, but I did find a couple things. And this is the other thing I got from Target is this cute little sled. And everybody needs a sled for sure to make cute finishes on. Okay, I have one more thing to show you guys for finishing, which I saw this online and I could not find it. And our, tar our Walmart's kept, or not Walmart's, our Michael's kept saying they don't carry them. And then yesterday I went for some floss and I found it and I'm so happy. And I might have bought a few more things for the gingerbread stuff too. But it's a jar and it's like a chalkboard. So cute. And I think it's 40% off you, uh, right now. So how cute would a finish be on that, you guys? So now you guys get out there, run to Target, run to Hobby Lobby, <laughs> Michael's, and the Target Dollar Spot, and have fun. Hope you guys uh, find some good stuff. Okay, let's get on to whips. Oh, this video is going to be long, you guys. I hope you guys stick with me. Um, okay, so the first whip I'm almost done with is the Country Cottage Nino House, the, which one's Santa's Village. This is the Hot Cocoa Cafe. Remember, this is the one I started and I only had one house left. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. There, that's what I have. All I have is a little bit of the roof and the snowflakes. And then I have to stick all the buttons. I did stick this button on. I have buttons for all, I think all of them. And so I just need to finish that. I'm gonna finish this today. So I finally, then I figure out how I'm gonna finish it because it's huge. <clears throat> and then yesterday, because I was looking for one color of floss. I, I only needed just a little bit more. And I'm like, I gotta have this DMC floss somewhere in all of my stuff. I did not, which led me to go to Michael's, which did not even have the floss. I had to go to Walmart to find the floss, but ended up with a bunch of more gingerbread stuff because they had they, more stuff came out. So I had to get it. So as I was looking for this floss, I was looking um, in my little cart near my, um, near my stitching and I found this piece that I never finished either and I'm almost done and it's Christmas rules. All I have you guys is the top part left and I thought I had already finished this. So yeah, I found it yesterday. Oop, there goes the pattern. So yeah, all I have is the top part left or is it? Oh my gosh, you guys didn't even tell me I'm showing you the back. Oh my gosh, my backs are horrible. So, <laughs> so all I have is the top part to, uh, to finish. So I'm like, oh, there's another whip I didn't even know I had. This was done a long time ago, so I need to finish that too. Okay, please don't fall off. Okay, my next whip, I started this when um, Vicki, Denise, and Anna and I were all um, FaceTiming together. And Anna, Vicki, and I are all started stitching this. And this is Merry Christmas, my dear. And we are taking out the words. And I didn't realize how huge this piece is already on its own. And then of course I picked 25 count oatmeal Lugana. That's only half of it. So when I was adding it up on the calculator, I'm like, it's gonna be 12 inches long. I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is gonna be ginormous. And it's not really that much stitching, but yeah, so mine's gonna be ginormous, but that's what I got done on it so far. So I definitely wanna keep going on that one. Like I said, some of these, they're not gonna be done before I actually start decorating but I'll I'll throw them in there somewhere and then I had a stitch along with Krista on Instagram and it is Mary Mouse by Brenda Gervais is that right there we go and 
all I got done was the was the hat so far. And this is on um, 28 count mushroom Lagana. So a little bit of progress on that. I want to get back to this one. Okay, this one I want to finish like immediately. But I was so tired of stitching on black, you guys. I had to take a little break. And this is Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Priscilla and Chelsea. And that's my progress on that. Still got a little ways to go, but I'm bound to determine to get it done in the next two weeks and finished. Now my hormones just need to play nice with me. And so I'm not so tired and need naps every single day. Yes, you guys, I take naps every single day, unfortunately. Okay, my next whip, which I didn't finish it, but I will get back to it. And this was the Fright Night with Fat Quarter Shop. And I finished half of the house. So I still need to do the second part and do the tree. But I mean, I absolutely love how this one turned out. It's so beautiful. I just kind of got into the Christmas stitching and this went to the wayside, but I do want to get back to it and get it finished. And then I will um, fully finish it next year. Last, last whip guys, last whip. Okay, Prim, Prim series. I still love this one. And I squeezed it out in a day. Of course, there's no border done, but that's this one. So cute. And the next one just, I just got the next one and it's so cute too. I absolutely love this. And this is on Prim, Lori Holtz Prim 25 Count Lugana. And it is a dream to stitch on. So much fun. So beautiful, so easy. Okay, we're gonna have to move stuff around here. Okay, that's it for what I've been working on. If that wasn't enough, it's been a lot. Okay, let's just, Hold on a second, guys. I got a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to maneuver. We're going to put that down there. Okay, next. Where did my notes go? I lost my notes and all the stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, Um, what's next? I did whips. Okay, new at Fat Quarter Shop. Let's see. What do they got? These are magnetic silicone clips for scissors. I have no idea how to use these, but I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> So those are new. This pattern, which is, it was the stitch quarterly, but now it's sold separately. Super cute pumpkin. This book, oh, this is, I, w I swear I wish I knew how to quilt. Prim and Proper, this is absolutely beautiful. This whole book is just amazing. And then um, Plaid Farmhouse, this is Priscilla's new quilting pattern. Again, wish I knew how to quilt. <laughs> Anybody want to come over and give me quilting lessons? Like beginner, friendly, like can't quilt at all lessons, please. And then some um, of the paper things for the quilting. That's also new at that quarter shop. Okay, let me put this back. And then um, they, if, you have, if you're watching Fat Quarter Shop, you'll know that next year that they already have planned for their... Um, Charity Stitch Along, and it's called Serendipity. Last This last year I did Bloomtopia, and this next next year I will be st stitching their Serendipity. Really, really pretty. And um, it goes to a great cause, you guys. Um, the pattern, I believe, is free, but then you make a donation to Make-A-Wish, and um, Kimberly grants wishes, and it's an amazing cause. So I hope you guys all um, join in that. But you get a bag. They make bags like a a bag, to, uh, I don't know what kind of bag this is. It's not mesh, it's like a plastic bag, but it's huge and it's really good quality. And then they also have the needle minder and these needle minders are amazing. I, um, you can stick your scissors on them. And then look how cute the little um, keychain that you can stick on the side of your bag. It's a butterfly, so cute. So definitely go check out Fat Quarter Shop, especially if you wanna do the stitch along. Um, for the um, serendipity, because I do have some um, for my giveaways um, to share with you guys. Okay, I did get a couple gifts. I'm gonna show those really quick, and then my haul, and then we're gonna get to giveaways. So Alyssa, my gingerbread um, enabling friend, <laughs> 
For my birthday, she got me two new gingerbread patterns. This one is Gingerbread Street by Little House Needleworks. So cute. She's already got stitched up and it's adorable. And then Little House Gingerbread Trio by Little House Needleworks. So cute. Thank you, Alyssa. Okay. And then, let me put this over here. Um, I had a sweet, sweet lady. Her name is Luann. Oh. And she sent me the sweetest card. And she, she said she had, um, here's her card. It's so sweet. Thank you so much, Luann. And she said that she had um, some Monaco that she wasn't going to use. Um, and if I would like it. And I was like, absolutely. Thank you so much. So she sent me some Monaco, which will definitely get used. But then she spoiled me and she sent me some other things. So she sent me this cute little project bag. Pumpkins. And she is a quilter, so she knows how to sew really good too. She sent me Home for the Holidays Barn, which will go perfect in my um, with my farmhouse stuff. And then she sent me just a little um, tin bucket with some candy canes. One of them's off of there because I'm going to use for a finish. And a cute little Merry Christmas sign, which will go on my black and red tree. And then a cute little um, tree ornament, which I will put in my gingerbread display stuff. So thank you so much, Luann, for spoiling me and totally surprising me with that. And then my last thing I got is a huge box. Um, this sweet lady, Cindy, she had a bunch of patterns that she was trying to clean up all of her stuff and she wanted to know um, if I would like patterns. This is a box of patterns, you guys. She was so generous. And I mean, tons of Lizzie Kate patterns in here. That's pretty much, much what the whole box is, is tons of Lizzie Kate. And you guys know I love Lizzie Kate. So some of them I do have. <coughs> so I told her that I would be, um, giving them away to people that I know um, would want them. I will probably do some in giveaways. Um, so I'm gonna be definitely spreading the love and sharing um, that wonderful gift that um, she uh, shared with me. So thank you so much, Cindy, I so appreciate it. Okay, let's see, haul. What haul do we have? <laughs> we got the prim stitch that just came in. The next one, so cute. I had to get this, you guys. I tried to behave this year. I'm trying not to buy too much of um, new patterns, but yeah. This one by Brenda DeVay, Mr. Marshmallow. I, you just can't resist that. That's just so cute. And then I saw this one. This is Christmas Stamps, and it's by Madame Chantilly. And you could do them all in little ornaments, or you could do the whole thing in one big piece, which I think is what I want to do next year. And this is just a Halloween one, but I mean, ghostly manner, ghosty manner. How cute is that? You know you need it. <laughs> okay, and then um, let's see. These are the Prairie Squirrel, they're little cards. And I love that Santa. And then there's a bunch of other little cards in there with it. These are tiny ones, so you can stitch these up really super quick. So I definitely, I had to have one of those. And that that's courtesy of Alyssa and her enabling. <laughs> And then I found this one, Little Dove Designs, the gingerbread, gingerbread Cottage. I will probably take out the blue and just do the house and a couple of these little rows of things, but how cute is that? So obviously my gingerbread will be going on to next year. And then I bought one of these, and this is Country Cottage Needleworks, the, one of her gingerbread ones. And she <coughs> has a whole entire like series of it. So it would probably be as big as the Santa's Village. And Alyssa sent me and she's like, do you think we can get this done? Like the whole thing before Christmas? I'm like, no. So we were like, okay, well in five years when we get it done. So next year we might be starting this, the whole entire thing. We'll see. I have one. So I, I was just thinking I would just pick a couple of them and do a couple of them. But um, I think now we are going to be having to stitch along and stitching them all year. So, okay, let's put that there. All right, that was a lot, you guys. That's what happens when you're gone for too long. <laughs> okay, um, so let's get in. I'm going to do giveaways today. We're gonna have some giveaways. And that's Mitzi. 
Okay, so my question, so since I'm in the Christmas spirit completely 100% listening to Christmas music, watching Hallmark Christmas, doing all the Christmas, um, the question today is a Christmas question. So, what, okay, how did your child react when they found out that there was no Santa Claus and that it was you? And the reason I asked this because, uh, my little story here. So, when Chase was um, getting older and he kept asking me, is Santa Claus isn't real, is he? he it's you, isn't it? And I'm like, no, no, it, there's, it's real. And we were doing Elephant in the Shelf at the same time. And he's like, I don't know. And so he he had been asking for a couple, maybe a year or two, and but I knew he wasn't ready to find out yet. So I kept telling him, no, it's me. Or I mean, it's Santa, Santa's real, Santa's real. And then we were driving to school one day and he's like, I know, and I mean, I think he was in fourth grade. My friends told me, and I know it's not, it's Santa's not real, it's you. And so I was like, okay, he's ready to know. So I, I, I did, I was like, he asked me and I said, no, you're right. I said, it, Santa isn't real, it is me. Did not get the reaction I was expecting to get. He started crying. He was mad at me and he told me, he's like yelling at me, you lied to me, you lied to me. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I just ruined my entire child, his whole childhood, his whole entire day. And then on top of that, he's like an elf in the shelf. He's not real either. And I'm like, no, I said, mom, I, I do that too. Yeah, he was so upset. I've never seen a kid get upset like that ever. Like when I knew with my parents, I told, I was like, I know it's you. And they're like, it is. And I was like, yeah, see, I knew. No, my, ch my child, total breakdown, upset with me, so mad at me. So I want, so the question is, how did your child react when you, when they found out? I'm hoping I'm not the only one that has such a horrible story that I destroyed my child, my kid's childhood. Um, and if you don't have kids, how did you react? Um, either way, any way you want to answer it, but let me hear, I want to hear some funny stories or something that made me don't feel like I failed as a mom that day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to have some giveaways today. I have five of them. The first one I'm going to give away is Lizzie Kate Tiny Tidings. I don't know what number it is, but it does come with like all the little buttons in the back. So that's number one. So number one, you can put, um, let's do tiny tidings. Or actually, you know what, just put the numbers, just put number one, that, it's just easier that way. So that's number one. Number two is Lizzie Kate Sampler Claws. Number two. Number three, we are doing Santas and Snowmen by Prairie Schooler. So if you like that one, number three. And then number four and five are gonna be the same. You are going to get the serendipity bag from Fat Quarter Shop for their charity stitch along. And you are also going to get the needle minder and the keychain together. So all three of these, number four, and then the same thing for number five. So two chances to win this. And then definitely please go check out their charity thing. I know a lot of you guys stitch along with them, but it's a really great cause and um, I think you'll really enjoy it. So that's it for today. That was a lot. I hope you guys stuck with me to the end. Um, hopefully my hormones will chill out a little bit um, and I will be able to be back a little bit sooner. But if I'm not, then I know people were asking, where did she go? <laughs> I'm still here, I'm still here. Um, so thank you guys so much um, if you stuck with me this long. I hope you guys are um, enjoying all the stitching. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving. I probably won't, I won't be back before that. Um, that's That week of Thanksgiving is when I'm gonna start decorating my house. So hopefully I'll have some more finishes after Thanksgiving. I will do a home tour. So I hope you guys have a great few weeks. Um, thank you guys so much for the love and support and always sticking with me, even though I'm kind of sporadically in and out of here. Um, but have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.